Hello, my name is Aiden Hyde, and this is why group singing should be required in the public school system in America. According to the Give a Note Foundation, an organization whose mission is to increase the size and prevalence of singing and of music in public schools, 85% of states in the U.S. require fine arts classes to be available. However, only a third of the states in the U.S. require students to attend said fine arts classes. The implications of this are that a lot of budget and a lot of time is being wasted on uh, classes that students a lot of times end up not participating in due to like interest in other activities or other reasons. Uh, additionally, there aren't any actual states that specifically require a uh, choral group or choir experience as a uh, requisite instead of just generally classifying fine arts classes, despite the numerous benefits that choral uh, group singing has over other similar fine arts classes. My argument is that group singing should be required in the education system in America because it encourages cultural exploration, strengthens vocal projection, and causes participants to fully engage with each other. Music is an integral part of all cultures across the world. As stated by Sandra E. Trejo, a retired professor of psychology, quote, musical behaviors are universal across human populations and, at the same time, highly diverse in their structures, roles, and cultural interpretations. She then goes on to name a few other ways in which music from different cultures is diverse from one another. Uh, and her partner, uh, Jules Beckett, says that music from certain cultures can be just as diverse as the cultures themselves. It is for this reason that exploring the background and history behind cultures, as well as their structure and other musical elements of them, is actually a great and very efficient way of exploring and learning about new and diverse cultures. An example of this comes from the stimulus material uh, with the Estonian Song and Dance Festival. Uh, in a documentary directed by Bill Frakes titled The Song of Freedom at the Estonian Song and Dance Festival, it is revealed how much uh, singing and music and dancing have been an important part of the Estonian and other Baltic countries' history. This is because they used singing and their culture's uh, history and music to revolt against the USSR and to keep their culture alive. This key aspect of their culture and their history is revealed through uh, understanding and exploring the music behind their history and is thus an example of how implementing uh, group singing as a required part of the education system could increase the exploration of diverse cultures. Now, some people may argue that this, in, uh, this benefit is uh, universal to all forms of musical exploration. However, while this is true to an extent, it is slightly misleading. According to, uh, according to Sandra E. Trejo, as well as the Office of Communications at Princeton University, quote, singing is universal. What they mean when they say this is that singing exists in music throughout all cultures across the world, whereas certain instruments and other types of uh, music are only exclusive to certain areas. This means that singing is the most efficient way to explore diverse cultures without having to, say, learn an entire new instrument to explore a different uh, area of culture. The second reason that group singing should be a required part of the education system is that it strengthens vocal projection and power. As stated by the National Spasmodic and uh, Dysphonia Association, due to the structure of the vocal folds, they are considered muscles. Adding on to this is Dwayne Cotterell, an associate professor of music. He states that, similar to any other muscle in the human body, through proper work, exercise, and training, these muscles can be strengthened. What this means is that they can become stronger and better at projecting. This is both important in the lives of students in an academic setting, but as well as opening up future job prospects. The reason it is important in an academic setting is because of presentations. Presentations are a key part of many uh, classes in the current school system. In a study conducted by uh, Michael W. Cross, an associate professor of organizational behavior, it was found that audiences uh, actually decipher emotion from a speaker's voice more than they do, say, body language or anything else in the presentation. And in that same study, 
it was found that one of the most effective ways to create an engaging presentation is by speaking loudly, confidently, and clearly. Having strong vocal projection is also important for students to increase their future job, job prospects because of public speaking. According to Pele Raymond uh, Ugboha, 70% of jobs require public speaking. This is coming from a PhD, a PhD student uh, in organization and management. What this means is that having good public speaking skills that comes from vocal projection and singing can actually open up many, many job opportunities and prospects for future students in their career. The third and final reason that singing should be required in the public school system in America is that it causes participants to fully engage with each other and form strong bonds with each other. According to Michelle J. Jelpin in The Stimulus Material, quote, studies have shown that people in a group tend to feel more trusting towards and united with their group members. This is particularly important in an education setting environment because, according to Melissa Forbes, uh, a senior researcher uh, at the University of South Queensland in Australia, students that gain this group cohesion from singing together in group singing uh, activities actually work much more efficient in academic environments as a group. This is a result of the group cohesion and is thus a very important aspect of uh, increasing productivity within an academic setting. In conclusion, group singing should be required in schools for several reasons. The three main reasons being that it encourages cultural exploration, strengthens vocal projection, and causes participants to fully engage with each other. All three of these reasons are very applicable to a student's life as well as their future job opportunities and way very far down the line. Thank you. Seven minutes. So, um, Aiden, how did your research question evolve as you moved through the research process? So while the main, I guess, meat of the question didn't evolve that much, I did end up about halfway through my research changing the focus from a general school system to specifically the public school system. Uh, the main reason for this was because uh, I learned about sort of the inequalities with opportunities uh, from private school students versus public school students, and I wanted to uh, particularly in my uh, essay, I wanted to talk about how uh, requiring public, uh, or sorry, requiring group singing within public schools would give everyone the opportunity to build up these skills to uh, increase their like job opportunities further down the line. Okay, and then how is your conclusion and conversation with uh, the resource sources that you looked at? So from the resources that I gathered, the three main, uh, I guess, benefits from uh, participating in group singing, nearly every source agreed that those were very strong uh, arguments to including group singing as a large part of the uh, education system. However, the main part where public sort of writing and literature sort of splits is whether or not it should be required. Uh, roughly half of the sources I looked at is, uh, came to the conclusion that it should be required and that the benefits are so useful for students that uh, every public school should require it, and then some believe that it should still be optional. And so that was the main sort of uh, conclusion I had to come up with on my own after examining the evidence. But okay, good. Thank you. You're done.